hello everyone this is the final project of crash course on python of google so in this video i am going to tell you that how can you do this project so at first you need a text file so you can download it from google so i have the text file in my desktop here which is the name file contents dot txt so you will to rename the file name as it is file contents dot txt i have download this from wikipedia so after that you run this first shell by run this shell then after that you need to run this second shell when you will run this second cell you will notice that there will be a browse button here if you don't get the browse button just refresh this page and check and also check your internet speed sometimes this browse button don't show due to reason of your internet speed so I am going to click this browse button and uploading that dot txt file uh, where is that uh, here is my txt file so now this file will be uploaded here so here you see that this file is uploaded and the file name is file underscore contents dot txt you make sure that your file name is like as here so after that you need to run this shell running this shell so here the calculate frequency you need to write this code here I am using the regular expression so I import the RE module then here I am removing all the uninteresting uh, sorry punctuations here listed from this file contents string so I use regular expression here in order to remove all the punctuations from my string file file contents so after that I have lower I have make all the string lower case in order to remove all the uninteresting words which is shown here so we all need to remove all the uninteresting words to get the full marks so as my file contents is a string so I have make a list with a split function and then create a frequency dictionary which we will need to pass here so in this for loop I have make the frequency dictionary after that I just pass the frequency here then when you run this file you will see that this there is a word cloud after that you need to click the submit assignment and your file will be submitted so the main crucial part is that most of the people are having trouble with this browse button so again I am telling that if you don't get this browse button just refresh your page and also check the net speed of your PC